Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're gonna see how we can make uh, this flat shading using Unity um, basically we are going to set up the project so that our rendering results are like, are like the one in the right position so let's start okay so basically what we are going to do is to adapt an already existing shader uh, that helped us getting this tune effect. If you want to know more about it, you will have the link in the video description. But for now, you will have as well this GitHub link in order to access this tune shader, which wasn't made by me. But we are going to adapt it so that it works with the URP, Universal Render Pipeline. So first of all, in the GitHub, you're going to go to the Assets and you're going to click inside this, this file, which is tune.shader. And in here is what we have to adapt. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go inside Unity and inside Shaders, uh, you got to create a shader on lit uh, what is unlit shader because this is not going to be affected by light in the same way that a uh, physically based, based material is affected. So we are going to call this tune shader. I'm gonna double click it in order to access it and in Visual Studio is where I am going to modify this shader so that it works with a URP. Uh, give me a second, so I think I'm going to speed up this process, I hope. Oh, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, great. Uh, with our tune share opened, uh, what I want you to notice first is that, for example, let me grab this. Yeah. If I, for example, grab all of this in here and straight ahead copy it, Interesting. Control V. And I save it. First of all, you're going to see that maybe it's going to give us some errors. Well, there are, yes, as I told you, there are some errors here. And besides from that, if we create any material from this shader, it is not going to be rendered properly. So, for example, in here, if I create a new material, uh, material, Let's call this tune material. Now, if I change this to the tune shader, you're going to see that it's completely purple, which means that it's not being rendered right. So, uh, what we're going to do in Visual Studio is first of all, Control Z, everything that we have done. Yeah. I know. Uh, first of all, we're going to go to the properties. In here, we're going to copy this part inside these properties. Control V. Great. And now we are going to go inside Pass and we are going to copy everything that's inside Pass until end C. Control C. We are going to go in here to Pass as well and until end C. Control V. Great. Uh, after that, we're going to minimize this pass like this, as you can see. And now I'm going to press enter and down here, I'm going to copy this. Control C and Control V. Great. And now with all of this in place, uh, we're going to change something else, which is the light mode. Uh, here is using the default light mode setting, which is the forward base, but we want to use the universal forward light mode. And if we save this and we hop back into Unity, you're going to see that our tune shader is working as it should. So for example, I can change the color to red or maybe blue if I want. And it's going to be shaded in a tune way, which is pretty cool. 
And now uh, we are going to apply this to this 3D object that I have made in Blender. I'm going to set this position to 0, 0, and 0 so that you can see that the results are pretty good. Uh, I'm going to first of all rotate it along the z-axis, no, sorry, along the y-axis 180 degrees so you can see it. Now in here I'm going to create a new folder for this and I'm going to call this gear head materials. Inside here I'm going to create a new material. Uh, this is going to be the material for his overall head. Head, oh, metal, metal, material. And now we can select our tune shear and use it as it should. And as you can see, we can place a texture in here so that we can have his mouth. When we have that in place, I'm going to apply this in here and it looks really cool. And now we're going to create a green material as well. Uh, material. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use this tune shader again. And I'm going to change this to something like this kind of dark turkeys, I guess. And in here, oh, I forgot to name the material. This is going to be the green material. Great. Now I'm going to put this in here. And uh, maybe I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Mm, yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And now we are going to make that outline effect that every 2D game has. And what we're going to do is first of all, I already have the shader created, but I'm going to erase it so that we can make it together. Lit, yes. And I'm going to go into create shader, and this is going to be an unlit graph as well, as it is not going to be affected by light. And uh, before I create this, I want to close this first. Oh, yeah, it's already closed. I'm going to erase this just in case. So I can change the name because sometimes I have some problems and I change the name like that. Uh, Unlit graph, as I told you, and this is going to be the outline shader. We're going to double click it. Inside here, we're going to maximize this so we can see it. And now in here, what we're going to do, uh, first of all, is uh, change the scale of the overall object so that uh, we are going to have two objects, one which is going to have the main colors and the other object which is going to be the outline effect, which is just going to be uh, the same object but with the normal faces inverted. So what we're going to do here is first of all uh, we're going to create a vector one variable which is going to be our line thickness. Now in here I am going to use a position node so that I can get the position of each vertex in here. I'm going to change this to object so that the axis is taken from the object straight ahead. And now I am going to place this right here and I'm going to use a multiply node. I'm going to Black the mean. Now in here, as you can see, oh, it's zero, so that's why all the vertices are multiplied by zero, and then they are like in the zero position. But if I change this to one, it is going to be the sphere. But if I change this to two, it is going to be bigger, as you can see. You can play, you can play with this so that you can understand how it works. And now if I want to add another property in here, which is going to be the color, so that you can change the color of the outline. Maybe you want another color besides from black. So I'm going to call this color as it is. Now I'm going to place this in here. 
and I'm going to collect it, connect it to the color input of the Unlit Master. And as you can see, we have changed the color. Now, uh, I'm going to minimize this, and unfortunately, there's a property that we cannot that we cannot set up here, which is the cooling mask. And the cooling mask is the property that is going to let us uh, render this object from the normals inside and not from the normals that are outside. So in order to access to that property, what we're going to do is right click on the unlit master and we are going to go into uh where is it show generated code i'm just going to open visual studio because it's code and now in here we just have to change one parameter which is let's go a little bit down here cool this is how the object is rendered and now if it is rendered if it is set to back it means that it is going to render the outside normals, but we want to render the inside normals. So what we're going to put in here is front. And now whatever is in front of these normals is going to be rendered, but the inside normals are going to be rendered as well. Now with this in place, uh, first of all, now that we have changed this to front, what you're going to do is select all your code. In Visual Studio, you can do it by pressing Ctrl A, copy it, Ctrl C, and create a new shader. This is not going to be a shader graph. It is going to be just a common shader. So we're going to choose Unlit Shader. And here we're going to call this Outline Shader. Let it load. And now that we have the outline shader, we are going to open it. With our outline shader opened, uh, what we are going to do is copy all of the code that we have created. Now we just have to change. Uh, let me see. We just have to change this in here. Oh, it's a lot of lines of code. There are a lot of lines of code. Uh, what we have to do now is to change this if you want. I'm going to change this. This is uh, how uh, you can choose this shader inside the materials tab. And I'm going to change this like it is inside here, the tune shader, which was unlit tune shader, but this is going to be unlit slash outline shader. No, outline, just outline. I'm going to press Ctrl S to save all my changes. And now back in Unity, I am going to create a new material in here, which it is which is going to be the outline material. Create material outline material. And I'm going to choose the outline shader this one remember to choose the one that says outline unlit outline not the one that says outline shader okay great now i'm going to duplicate my object by pressing ctrl d and now with my object duplicated i'm going to increase the scale so that i can differentiate it oh what the heck is going on Okay, so that I can differentiate where I am applying the material. Now I am going to go to the outline material. I'm going to apply this in here. Then, as you can see, the eyes have another material. So I'm going to apply the outline material there as well. Man, please do it. Great. Now that we have all in place, we can set the scale back to what it was. Which is just one, one, one. And now inside our outline material, we can change the thickness so that we can increase the line, the thickness of the line of the outline, as you can see. 
and I think there looks pretty cool. And that's how you make this tune shader material with the outline shader. So thanks for watching the tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Bye!